Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Alexandra Brown. I'm a board certified dermatologist and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to dive into one of the buzziest and most misunderstood ingredients in anti-aging skincare and that's the growth factors. You've probably seen them in these high-end serums claiming to regenerate, repair, and even reverse aging, but how do they actually work and are they really worth the hype? Are they really better than peptides or retinoids or are they worth the steep price tag. Let's talk about what the science actually says, how the growth factors really work, and which formulas are actually backed by evidence. So let's get started. What really are the growth factors? They are naturally occurring proteins that stimulate cell growth, repair damaged skin, and they can help promote collagen production. Unlike peptides, which signal the skin to make more collagen, growth factors actively support the regeneration of new healthy skin cells. They help with collagen production, wound healing, and maintaining a strong barrier. As we age, our natural levels of growth factors decline just like collagen declines, and that slows down cell turnover and collagen renewal. In fact, in-office treatments like PRP or platelet-rich plasma work by drawing your blood and concentrating your own growth factors before applying them back into the skin. Topical products aim to reintroduce these signals, encouraging the skin to behave like it did when it was younger. So how do they work in skincare? When applied topically, growth factors can stimulate fibroblasts to make new collagen and elastin. They can support keratinocytes, which are cells in the top layer of the skin, to improve skin texture and smoothness. They can also help reduce inflammation and accelerate repair after procedures like microneedling or lasers. They can also enhance barrier recovery, especially in mature or photoaged skin. However, not all growth factors penetrate deep enough to work, and that's where formulation science really matters. So what types of growth factors do we have? Growth factors come from different sources. This matters because it affects how they work, how stable they are, and how they're regulated. There's human-derived growth factors. These are the growth factors that are extracted from sources like skin cells, bone marrow, and fat stem cells. They're the most clinically studied, and they have really strong data for wrinkle improvement. Some of the examples here are the Skin Medica TNS Advanced Plus Serum and the Neocutis Bio Serum Farm. They have the closest match to what your own skin naturally produces and they show some of the strongest anti-aging results. Then we also have the bioengineered growth factors, which are non-human, biotech derived. These are made up of using plants, yeast, barley, and bacteria that are lab engineered to produce growth factor like proteins that mimic those same signaling pathways. Some of the examples here are Dermatology Needless Growth Factor Serum and Allies of Skin Multipeptides and GF Advanced Lifting Serum. I have tried several of these, so let me give you my Derm Approved Growth Factor favorites. First one's going to be the Skin Medica TNS Advanced Plus Serum. This is one of the human derived ones, and yes, it retails for like $295. The key benefits are that it's clinically proven to reduce deep wrinkles and improve skin texture in 12 weeks. It has dual growth factor system, which can stimulate collagen and elastin production. It's super lightweight, fast absorbing formula designed for really like that mature aging skin. The key ingredients here are the TNS MR, which is the blend of growth factors and peptides, Renaissance Complex, which contains the botanicals and marine extracts. The next one in this category is the Neocutis Bioserum Firm Hydrating and Anti-Aging Serum. This is also human drive growth factor. It retails for about $290. The key benefits here that is that it smooths the skin in as little as seven days. That's pretty fast. It can target sagging skin, loss of volume, dullness. It's really lightweight, yet deeply hydrating at the same time. The key ingredients are proprietary peptide blend, the growth factors, and the hyaluronic acid. My next recommendation is the Dermatology Needless Growth Factor Serum. This one is bioengineered. It retails for only $69. I am currently using this one, and I like it a lot. By far, this is the cheapest option on the list. It's vegan, biotech-powered growth factor factor serum that's designed to support firmness, texture, and overall skin quality without using any human-derived growth factors. It's also clinically proven to outperform the leading human growth factor serum that retails for $2.95. We just talked about that one. So something to take into consideration if you're looking into dabbling into growth factors, but you're on a budget. The key ingredients here are the five times bio growth factor complex, the Svercia Chirata extract, and the Palmatil tripeptide. And my next recommendation here is the Allies of Skin Multipeptide and GF Advanced Lifting Serum. Also a little bit more affordable, but it's still at $188. 
somewhat pricey. This one helps improve skin firmness and elasticity in as little as four weeks. It repairs environmental and sun damage. It helps strengthen your skin barrier and boost hydration. The key ingredients are the growth factor complex, the peptide complex, and the antioxidants. So you pick up a growth factor serum. Let's talk about how you're gonna actually incorporate this effectively, use it in your skincare routine. You can use this once or twice daily. Use it after cleansing and before moisturizing or SPF. Ideally, it would go on clean, dry clean skin or on top of a really lightweight serum. In the morning, I like to apply it on top of my vitamin C, for example. You wanna layer this with hydrating serums or peptides as they play really well together. If you use retinoids or exfoliants, apply growth factor in the morning to help support the recovery. And consistency really matters. You'll typically see visible results in maybe eight to 12 weeks. If you're ideally using it twice a day, it may take longer if you're only doing it once a day. So can you use growth factors with retinol? I know I'm gonna get this question and the answer is, Yes, they actually work really, really well together. Are they really worth the hype? If you're under 30 and just starting out, I don't know that they're worth it. I don't know that you really need to be spending that much money on this. In your 30s, you need to be concentrating on, you know, washing your face at night, either double cleansing or just a single good cleanse. Using your retinols at nighttime, supporting your barrier, using your vitamin C and SPF in the morning, that's your 30s must have. But 40 and up in that mature skin, post-procedure recovery skin, or really anyone seeing visible thinning and fine lines, the answer is yes. Growth factors can make a really big difference. They're one of the few skincare ingredients with true regenerative data behind them, but choose formulas that are clinically tested and transparent about their source and stability. They're not replacement for your retinoids or your sunscreen at all. Retinoid sunscreen are still the goad. I would even introduce vitamin C, double cleansing, even peptides before doing growth factors. But growth factors are one of the few topical categories that actually help with the cellular repair, not just hydration or exfoliation. But really though, like if you're gonna boil it down, are they really worth the cost? That's a hard one. I'd say if money is a factor, stick with your retinol, your sunscreen, your vitamin C, you're gonna get more bang for your buck. But if you're in your 50s or 60s and budget's not a problem and you're doing all the other things, then yeah, growth factors might be your next step and maybe pick one that's a little bit more budget friendly. Use it twice a day. If you love it, it's your jam. If not, maybe try a little bit more expensive one. But I would definitely not go there if you're on a budget or if you're already not doing your must-haves. And always remember, no topical, like none, will replace your in-office treatments. But there is some promising data suggesting efficacy of growth factors. Let me know below if you have any other ingredients you want me to do deep dive on. And don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel if you found this video helpful. You guys can also find me on Instagram and TikTok at Dr. Alexandra Brown. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.